Hey, what's up guys? Football Peter here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to lace your soccer shoes. Just to give you some updates on the channel, I, as you can probably tell, I have a new backdrop. Um, probably, if you're interested, I mean, you're probably not interested, but I'll show you anyway. So I got this, some random 11 Pros right here, an Adidas presentation box of the, um, the X and the Ace, and then a Bayern Munich ball that was actually signed by the 0506 season team. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, I like the, the kind of the white in the background. And then also, um, I'm working in the soccer store for my summer vacation. So if you go check out my Instagram, you'll be seeing a lot of um, pictures on shoes that have just released or even maybe potentially unreleased. Um, so I'll be, just to let you know, I'll be working in a soccer store. So if you have any questions, I'll be definitely able to answer those. Um, as I'm learning a lot of things firsthand in the store. Without further ado, let's get into this video. Um, like I already mentioned, I'll be showing you how to lace your soccer shoes. This video was definitely requested by a lot of viewers, by a lot of you guys. So I thought, hey, why not actually show you? Um, this, this was especially requested in the how to effectively clean your soccer cleats video. Um, that will be somewhere on screen here if you want to go watch that first. Without further ado, let's just get right into it. Before these doors close quick, now wait. Look how they out here taking shots, you know, free throwing. And girls dropping to their knees, but they ain't T-bowing. Now how I do business. Okay, so now you're at the part where your laces are completely off. Completely off. And you, hypothetically speaking, you want to switch your laces. I'm just going to put the same laces back in. But in your case, you probably want to switch your laces. The first important thing is you're going to put the laces from the outside. Um, and get that focus from the outside, on the inside, and the, on the bottom. You start at the bottom. You put both um, ends of the laces into the hole. So down here, right there. So pretty much like this. Doesn't matter at all, cause I ain't scared. Of now what you're going to do is you're going to make sure that these two ends, these right here, are the same length. You can do this by just making minor adjustments to the laces by pulling one end. Dance floor, this ain't a sing along or a party track. This is music from the heart, no card. So like right here, these tips end at the same exact place. That's how you know the laces are in the um, the same length. Now the first step to actually tying your laces is very simple. Um, something to remember is that the outside lace, so that would be in this case the one that I'm holding in my hand right now, since it's on the out step is always the lace that goes over the other. By that I mean this. When you're taking the inside lace, you put it in first, like so. Make sure that it's not crooked or anything, all flat, like that. And then what you do is you take the outside lace, which would be this one, and you just pretty much put it into the next hole like that. Easy enough, right? The only place where this could become tricky is here at the lace holder. This is pretty much the loophole right here in the middle. Um, every shoe will have this and I strongly recommend to use this since this will keep your tongue from moving around. Um, same thing goes here, same principle is applied. You just put it through first. The one on the inside, the inside lace you put in through first. Um, might be a little bit difficult but should be definitely be doable. And then you put in the outside lace through next. Now for the last lace hole, um, this is really personal preference. You can either um, put in the lace from the inside and go through the out like so. Or you can use this lace and go through the outside first and in. What I do is I do this second option so I go from the outside in since I feel like it holds the shoe better. Um, however, it's personal preference, whatever you like more. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to lace your soccer shoes. Um, it was super easy um, to do, and I hope that you will find it just as easy as I did. Um, let me know of any questions in the comments below. Also, make sure to go check out my other social media pages, such as my Google Plus page and my Instagram. Always appreciate your support. See you guys next time. Peace. But see, I've never been a loser. I ain't in it at so. Next time you quit the criticize.